Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Fenema, Director of Internet Services and Training with Market America. And what I want to do is I want to introduce you to a new series of videos that are going to be specifically geared around the lead generation sites or the distributor recruiting sites that uh, we've created recently. So this is the first in a whole series of videos that's going to take you through um, uh, a number of different topics related to these sites. Um, the first set of topics are going to be uh, introducing you to the site and helping you get in there to be able to make changes. Um, uh, as well as uh, uh, looking at some of the functionality that's available. And then we'll move into other topics on how you effectively leverage this into what you're already doing to help uh, build your organization and help grow your unfranchised business. So uh, the place I want to start first is just looking at the site real quick and uh, pointing out a couple of features. So what you see here is... is um, uh, my distributor recruiting site that I've set up and you can see it's uh, uh, built along the the golf sort of uh, uh, look and feel now that's obviously not a picture of me there uh, but I can swap that out for something else if I want to or I'll just keep the one that I I have up there uh, you'll notice there's some content here which is the generic content that we have when we get started there is a uh, email address uh, capture uh, function that's built in here, as well as some videos that I've preloaded, uh, Paul Carlotta's uh, Power Profiles, ex as well as the Unfranchised Business Opportunity uh, Part 1 and Part 2, and then there's some contact information down at the bottom. Uh, on the products page, I have the Isotonics products listed there, and uh, that links over to uh, my portal. And then uh, here under uh, About Market America, I have some uh, some specifics here, uh, just uh, uh, some information about the business. And then there's a blog page, which ties into a blog uh, that uh, that I can set up. Now, if um, if you're really excited to get started about blogging, we're not going to cover that in this uh, particular tutorial, but it's really easy to do. And if you just go here, all the instructions on how to get started for setting up your blog are all right there. So um, uh, just follow those and you'll be all set. And then lastly, there's the Learn More page, which has some contact information for me as well as uh, another contact form. So, and then this uh, this uh, links over to Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Now, what I want to first take you guys on a tour of is A, how to log in, and B, how do we make some simple text changes? Because the most important thing that you want to start with doing is taking this generic content right here, this generic story right here, and making it your own message. So think about why Market America is special to you. Think about what you think is important about Market America. And more importantly, why are you someone that someone would want to partner with? Now understand, everybody has something unique about them, whether they're, it's, it's their experience, their enthusiasm, their background, uh, a unique testimonial about something that was very powerful for them. What do you say when you're going to go talk to a potential business partner? You know, what do you say about getting started with Market America? Because everybody needs to have their own two-minute commercial, and this is where you want to put your two-minute commercial, all right? Two minutes, why does Market America, what does Market America mean to you, and why did you get, why did you get started? Why, you know, why is Market America compelling to you, and why should someone get involved in the business with you, right? That's what we want to capture here. So. To be able to do this, um, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to log into the back end of the site. Now, we don't do that here on this site, right? We're going to go to the parent site, which is exploreMA.com. So if we type in www.exploreMA.com, we get taken to this site. And it says build your lead generation site. So this is where we would go to also build or buy a lead generation site if we haven't already gotten that. Um, we can find out about the sites. We can look at the features. We can even contact support here. So if you have problems and you're not sure where to get started, 
this is your solution. You come here, you click on live chat support, and that'll at, open up a, 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 a little window that lets you get live chat support. So if you're not really sure what live chat support is, just think of it like instant messaging. So you're sort of instant messaging with a uh, support representatives um, uh, who can help answer your questions and actually can take over your computer if you let them and show you right on your own computer uh, what needs to be done or, or and help you. Now, if you don't have time to actually talk with live chat support, that's okay. There's a form here that you can fill out, and that'll get submitted to one of our uh, representatives. They'll help answer your question, and they'll send you a response back via email. So these are your support options, but we're going to go ahead and log in. So up here on every page in the entire site, there's the login window. So this is where we would type in our username, right? And then we would type in our password. And then we click sign in. Now, when we click sign in, it's going to go ahead and log us into the back end of our website into the administration area. Now, if you forget your password, there's a link right up here that says forgot my password. So you could do that. Or um, again, you can contact live chat support. But we're going to assume that we got our password right. We knew what our username was. So we got logged in. And so we're in the back end of our administration area. Okay, great. So now we're ready to get our hands dirty. Now, let me start by saying, if you already are familiar with the Web Center technology, if you have ever been on a walkthrough with a product specialist to help sell a website, you've seen what I'm going to show you here. It's built on the same kind of technology. So if you already understand this stuff, you're already ahead of the game. So, And if you don't, it's okay. Our solution is designed to be really simple, really straightforward, intuitive. It's all point-and-click technology. So don't let this be overwhelming for you. Just take it one little bite at a time. That's what we're going to do today. We're just going to take our very first bite. And our very first bite is, how do I change text on my website? Okay, so we're going to go to the link here that says manage your website, because that's what we want to do. We want to manage our website. And then we want to click on the link that says edit pages, because that's what we want to do. We want to edit the content on the pages. Okay, so... When this comes up, we see a list of all the pages in the website. And you can see there's there's six of them here. And we want to edit the content on the home page. So we go ahead and click one time on the word home. And what happens is we get a direct repli uh, representation, an exact replica of the content on the uh, website. But everything here is editable. Everything here I can click and start modifying. Now, if it turns blue like this, then I can. That's a, that's a special kind of container. You don't want to. You, you don't. You can, but you you you're typically not going to click on the blue areas. What you want to do is you want to click on the areas that go that sort of pinkish, peachy kind of color. And if you're looking at it and it doesn't look pink or peachish, that's fine. Most people say I'm colorblind anyway, so that's all right. Whatever color that looks like to you is good by me. So whatever color that is, that's the color you want to click on. When we click, what happens is that converts that area so that we can start editing it. So you can see we can highlight all this stuff. We can delete it, right? We can bold things. We can make them really big. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Oh, that looks terrible. What do we do now? Well... You can do two things. We can undo, right? We can undo Jeremy's insane changes. Or if we want to and say we really screwed things up, let's try and really screw things up. Oh my goodness, what did we do? That's crazy. Oh no. Right? Then we can just hit cancel. And if we hit cancel, that cancels all our changes and sets us back to the normal. So don't worry about making mistakes. There's about three levels of saving that you have to go through to be able to have a change stick. So uh, when we make changes here, we need to save them up here. Then when we're done changing things on the page, we actually need to save them there. And then when we're actually wanting things to go live on the internet, we actually have to publish. So those are 
checks and balances that are in place to help you keep from making an irreversible mistake that, that you can't back out of. So my point in all of this is don't be afraid because um, it's very hard to to really screw things up so bad that you, you can't back out of it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, we're going to make some changes. So let's just uh, say we take out that entire paragraph, right? And then we go ahead and click Save, which I don't want to do because I like that paragraph. <laughs> but we would make the changes that we want to make here in the text. And, you know, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, right? We can click Save, which, again, I don't want to put that in there. When we're done making our changes, we go ahead and click Save. And now our changes would be saved here. And then when we're done making changes to all the areas on the site, say we want to change some stuff down here or what have you, once we're done making all the textual changes, we can just click Save again up here. And that saves it in a draft mode. Okay. What that means is I can come back and work on this later. So say I change the first paragraph. But I'm not really, it's not really done, it's not done to the point where I actually want to publish it on the internet. I, I got some of the wording done, but I'm not sure about some of the other stuff. And maybe I want to show it to somebody else to see what they think of it, right? So I can make some changes and I can click save here and that will actually save my work. If I close down my browser window or I shut the computer down, my work is saved. But it never gets put up on the internet for everybody to see until I actually publish. Once I publish, that makes those changes live on my actual website. So if I had left the, wow, this is amazing in there, then when you came down here, you would see right here, wow, this is amazing, once I click publish, okay? Now again, don't let this be too confusing. The whole idea is just go in there, click on the home page, click on the text you wanna start editing, when you're done, click Save, and then Save, and then Publish. That's all there is to it. That's a good place to start to be able to get yourself on the first step towards having a lead generation site that's specifically tailored to your information. So what have we learned so far? First, we learned how to log into the system, right? Very important. We saw a little bit about our website. Right? We looked at some of the pages that we had going on. We saw some of the features that are built in here. Right? We learned about logging into the site using the explorema.com site. And then lastly, we learned how to change some text. But most importantly, we learned where to get support. So if we have any questions, we can just click on the live chat support link and we can ask them and say, how do I change text in the site? How do I modify this? How do I get that video out of there? How do I add a new video in? Any question you can think of in terms of modifying the site, the live chat support or the contact us folks can help you with that. But we're going to go through a number of these in these introductory videos. So we'll spend a couple of times, uh, a couple of videos on talking about uh, making simple modifications to the site, steps that you really need to know how to do to be able to make effective use of this solution. And then once that's done, we're going to talk about more advanced concepts of integrating this into your uh, unfranchise uh, uh, business development efforts? How do I use this site uh, from a practical standpoint in my day-to-day -day operations to help grow my own franchise business? So hopefully this first session was very helpful for you. Uh, uh, stay tuned to the YouTube channel to find out about more sessions. And uh, my goal is to, to try and post one of these at least once a week, if not more often than that, uh, depending on how my schedule goes. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because then uh, we'll be able to you'll be able to get uh, notifications when new uh, videos are posted. And I highly encourage you to get other team members of yours to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well if they have this solution so that they can uh, also get notified when new videos come out. Uh, and for those of you who got this as a link uh, and uh, want to know what the YouTube channel is, it's very simple. It's youtube.com slash Jeremy Fenema. That's J-E-R-E-M-Y-F-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E.
F-E-N-E-M-A. Jeremy Fenema. YouTube.com slash Jeremy Fenema. No spaces. So I look forward to talking to you all again. And let me know how you like the video. Thanks. Bye.